Hello, I'm Brittany. Hi, I'm Andy. And we are creating a co-living village in Chiang Mai, guys. Do you know what this is? Have you heard about this? Everyone is talking about this, but no one actually understands what it is. So we thought we would make a video about it, right? Yes. So I have had background in co-working and co-living for about five years. And Andy, you also, right? Uh, yeah, background in co-living retreats, co-work spaces, community, all that fun. All that yummy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, the thing that we talk about a lot is like when coronavirus hit, we all kind of locked down. And for someone like me, I've been living abroad for five years, so I don't really go home to my family that much. Um, but for a lot of people here, this is like the first time they're away from their family for an extended period of time. Mm -hmm. And people are thinking about community and like, what does that mean? And like coming together. And I thought it would be such a fun thing if we together could create a community when the whole world is going crazy and we're like the leftovers in Thailand and instead of dispersing and doing whatever we actually came together like what an amazing story that we could create a whole village of all of us and amazing humans yeah. what do you think about that yeah I think it's nice I think um, to be in this space and time and be able to spin things in a positive way and show um, kind of be an example to the rest of the world that there is chaos but we're all amazing people, uh, we love each other and we can do cool things. So, Why stop the adventures? Um, why do it now? So yeah, I think we can get together and make it work. Yeah, instead of uh, freaking out, basically, we're like, this is a call to adventure, this is a call to come together, this is a call to create some magic together. So that's what we're doing. We also love Koh Phan Yang so much. And so another thing is we basically, a lot of our friends here on Koh Phan Yang wanted to come to Chiang Mai. Mm -hmm. I've been basing there for a long time, for a couple of years. And I thought, wouldn't it be so amazing if we all came together and <clears throat> discovered the city together. So we basically want to make like a mini Koh Phan Yang in Chiang Mai. We got 60 rooms. People are going to do like workshops, massages. We were taking like aesthetic dance. We're going to take over a yoga shala. Like, we want to do a pop-up co um, coffee shop. We have free pools, like so much fun stuff. We're going to do parties. Uh, somebody even said they wanted to do like a DJ workshop where they taught other people yeah. how to DJ. Like people are going crazy Personal about trainers, yeah. yoga teachers, breath work. Lots of fun things. And also most of us work online and work remotely. So it's going to have lots of spaces to co-work and really good Wi-Fi and yeah. Just all of that fun stuff, like so much amazing stuff. I don't understand why someone wouldn't join. <laughs> but people have questions. So I made a beautiful FAQ on the website that I don't think anyone is reading. So we thought that we would go over these okay. right now. What do you think about this? I guess that's what we're doing. Yeah. Do you want to do you want to share some of these with these beautiful people in here? Yeah, yeah. I can read. Um, where is the village located? So um, yeah, this is new to me. So we're in the old town next to the Ta Pai Gate, is that how you say it? <laughs> Ta Pai Gate, that, that is one. the name of it. That one. Uh, which is next to the Night Bazaar. So we went to the Walking Street Market, which is uh, right around the corner. Uh, and we also found this beautiful street just a few roads on from where we're staying, which is full of funky Thai hipster coffee shops. And it's really nice. It's really cool. Co-working coffee shop. Oh my god, I rooftop. forgot about that place. It's like garden. I saw it because yeah. there's all these plants coming down. And it's like three stories, like funky furniture. And no <laughs> one's in there because there's no one left. So we're gonna take it over. Yeah. So that's right around the corner. So we're gonna we're gonna pimp that place out with all our awesomeness. Um, da -da -da -da. Uh, yeah. So we did that. So normally it's in that area. It's normally really really busy because of mm -hmm. all the backpackers. And so most people who go long term don't really stay there. So for us, it's a great opportunity that it's kind of quiet, a village feel, and we get to do a community there. Yeah, I think some of us are even thinking of renting bicycles because normally the entire that part of town is too busy to do anything. Yeah. Um, but you can walk, you have bicycles, you have scooters, lots of fun things. Okay, so wait, you have 60 rooms. How the F does that work? Um, so we've been lucky enough to find two hotels that are combined close to each other. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a combination of six buildings, two community kitchens, three pools, and then there's like lounges and um, 
sealed off air conditioned cold working areas, private offices. So much fun stuff. I mean, we're, t we're tweaking what they already have to make it what we know you all want. Mm -hmm. um, but we were really looking to find a space that had all, had all of this. Um, and yeah, we're absorbing some of the uh, venues around so that we can set up yeah. what we're all used to. Yoga, coffee, yeah. co-working, all sorts of stuff. Um, do you have to be a remote worker to join? Um, yeah, I've had this conversation a couple of times. Um, of course, it's whatever you do. I mean, you're coming up to explore a city and a community. So whatever you want to put into the community, well, welcome to that. Um, a lot of people will be remote workers, but it's, yeah, that's down to you. And it's really a good uh, opportunity. I've explained to some of my friends that if you want to learn about it, it's the best way to do it is to be immersed in the environment. That's how I did it, being around remote workers. So the answer is no, you don't have to be a remote worker to no. join. Just come be a cool person yes. and a good vibe and something to collaborate with and share with the community. Yes, all of that. Um, how's the cost of living in Chiang Mai compared to the island? <laughs> um, so because it's a city, the rate of accommodation can be higher uh, than the islands because of course when the islands when the tourists didn't come all the resorts threw their prices to a set level mm. whereas in the city of course people still live in a city so the accommodation rate hasn't fallen as much as Chang uh, sorry as Kopangan but on the flip side all of the other things that we love and do are are cheaper so there's so much good food oh my at reasonable God. prices the food is amazing yeah it was right around the corner <laughs> when we came back from Chiang Mai last week I was like oh my god is so much better than Chiang Mai. Not knocking the food here, no. love all of you guys, but it's like there's only like five spots that we love here, you know, like yes. love, love, and there there's like hundreds. Yeah. So, and I got the Google Map list and I'm gonna share with everyone. Yeah, I was treated to a tour of Chiang Mai by food and it is really, really nice. So good. Yeah. And like really good food, like if you wanna just do local food there, like their normal local pad thai or like khao soy, it's like 30 pot. Whereas here, that same stuff would run you a hundred or whatever, whatever, whatever. It's just cheaper there when it comes to food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And really big portions. Um, yeah, I got a huge bowl of chicken noodle soup for 30 baht and it's massive. Mm. Um, so that one isn't a question, that's a statement. So whatever you are craving, this city has it. Yeah. I, I agree. Um, so we passed through, like we were saying, there were street events, there was a range of restaurants, Chinese, Indian, mm. Japanese, vegan, veggie, funky, fusion, uh, then street events, also clubs, also acoustic music events. And also it's one of the vegan capitals when it comes to travelers. So if you're vegan, they have so many amazing vegan restaurants. They even have a vegan place called Munchies, which is like basically vegan fast food. It's open till 3 a.m. <laughs> So you can get your vegan fast food oh, on. Is that the one with the malt shake? Yeah. It's oh, that's so good. Okay, Whew. so do Just people wear, do people <laughs> wear masks everywhere? Yeah, like what is the corona times? Um yeah, so I would say pretty much the same as here. Um so if you're going into a mall, then yeah, that, which is fair, they scan your temperature, but the same here, they don't even look at the at the beep. They just like beep, 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 mm -hmm. and let you in. They want you to wear a mask, same in 7 Eleven, but everywhere else, um, the only people you'll see wearing masks are the Bangkok tourists. So that kind of tells you what's going on in Bangkok. I think it's the same as here, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But the, the locals and, um, and the people who are in the island, yeah, only wearing masks just to be respectful to people who are working all the time. Um, so, how close is nature? Um, yeah, this was a key one for me because I haven't been in the city for a long He forgot his shoes. Time. I don't know if you saw the video, but he forgot his shoes. We had to buy shoes at the airport, then he lost them within an hour of us getting to Chiang Mai. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely more island than city now, it seems. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, in the in the sun, um, I, I love the city. It was like one cloudy day, and that's when it really made a difference to just drive up into the jungle. Mm. And we were up in the trees in like 10, 15 minutes. Um, we went to a university, um, what was it, agriculture area, and mm -hmm. it was just green fields where they were growing things, and we were out in the wilderness, no one was there, and there was this awesome 
cafe, eco cafe where they grow oh, their own so food. Oh, that's so beautiful. Um, and it's like a tree house. Place. Yeah, there's tons of like really beautiful tucked away coffee shops like out in the jungle, nature. Uh, I have them all on my Google Maps list, so I will share them with everyone. Yeah, so that's the equivalent of all the beachside cafes we've got in Koh Phangan where you, you rock up, you chill out for the day, drink your coffee and watch the sun rise and set. Mm. That's the same out there. You drive up into the mountains, it's a 10 minute drive and you can just set up and uh, write your journals. So how's the traffic? I love the traffic. So we were on a scooter about 20 oh, minutes after I lost, lost my sandals. Yeah, because... Why do you love the traffic? Because it's... Uh, in Copacabana, you just drive. You don't even have to think. Whereas you mean because you like going in and out of there cars? There was traffic lights and roundabouts. I hate traffic lights. Yeah, but, but you've driven in a city. You've got to understand from an island. It's like, ooh, there's... You don't understand. There's just nothing. There's no traffic lights on the entire island. That makes you excited? Yeah, basically. it's just fun. So yeah, there was no... Weren't ever stuck in a traffic jam. Um, <laughs> we just weren't. Um, so the answer is well, the traffic's light. Very light and it's easy to navigate. Like I didn't have an issue at all getting around from A to B. Um, and it was fun because most of the time you're bouncing from coffee shop to coffee shop. It's a two minute, five minute scooter ride. Uh, this is a scooter ride to tell you this. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed driving around. Have you heard anything about Pi? Um, yeah, so I love Pai. That was one of my first it. homes uh, in Thailand. We went up and a few of your friends had been there recently. Mm -hmm. They said it was really, really quiet. So, Like oh. so quiet people are trying to get out of Pai because it's dead. Yeah, so you're probably going to meet quite a few people from Pai in Chiang Mai or even in Koh Phangan. Um, so what we heard is if you're going there for walks and you're going there for hiking and the nature side, then by all means, uh, the resorts are empty so you can get a good deal and it's really nice. We're, we're thinking maybe doing a long weekend up there. Um, but on the other side, if you're going for the community side and what we all think of Pai, which is yeah, acoustic okay. music, chilling out, there's, no yeah, no there's no vibe. They said there was like two restaurants and one bar, like bar open. On Main Street. Yeah. So, so it's dead, dead. It's like dead, dead. So like yeah. if you want to just go be in nature, that's fine. If you want to go out and like have the cute smoothie bowls and the nice vibe, it's not there right now, which makes me really sad. Yeah. But it's good to know. It's good to know. Yeah, it'll come back. Um, so how do people get around? Um, yeah, we were on a scooter. Um, yeah, we're going to partner with a scooter rental place. They messaged me yesterday again. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we're going to try and get everyone. Basically, we're going to have, um, we're going to have member cards like remote collective member cards and it's going to get you discounts on different things that we're setting up right now um so that's really exciting and one of those things is going to be a scooter rental yes that's an important one um bicycles and grab taxis so yeah again not something we have on the island grab taxis but it was nice to have them again super quick easy uh da -da -da -da. what to bring um, so clothes wise, I think it's the same as Copan Gun, isn't it? Because it's going to be 28 to 30 degrees. I mean, maybe a little bit more clothes a on t you. A t-shirt for the evening. Like sometimes I forget to wear clothes. Yeah. So maybe just put some clothes on. It's a lot more Thai people are conservative up there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a little bit more. <laughs> but when it comes to the weather, what's nice is like when it gets, they call it their, their winter there, which just means the dry season and it's a little bit colder at night. So they, you bring a light jacket so in the morning it's it's nice it's like 20 degrees but then at during the middle of the day it goes up to like 30 degrees so it's just you have more of a fluctuation of temperature which is nice yeah, yeah, yeah. the cool evenings were really nice um da, 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 da. Okay. so nearest airport yeah flying to Chiang Mai International Airport really easy domestic flights um Oh, you're so cute. Can we just show them how cute he is? He's so fucking cute. Thanks. And yeah, I think that's I think it. That's it the rest. We've got lots of things on our website if you guys want to check it out. Yeah, there's extra videos um, of our exploration of Chiang Mai and our trip up there. So if you have, if you want to know what it's like to go from Koh Phangan to Chiang Mai on the flight, we have all that in there. Yeah, so we were trying to do this remotely, mm -hmm. and the location that I had then it fell through, and so we had this moment where we were like okay universe do we really want this do we really want to make this village do we really want to make this co-living space and then we looked at each other and we were like we need to go there so we if you don't know this we actually went to Chiang Mai like a week and a half ago for five days 
and I recorded the whole journey to get there, which is on the website. So if you're like, how is it to travel? How is it to get on a plane right now? What the fuck is going on in the world? Uh, we did all those things. And I had a lot of emotions, like getting out of the island. I haven't been off the island for seven months. So, Same, yeah. yeah, like wearing a mask in the airport, wearing shoes, and like, how do people act around you? Like, what's, like, what's normal, what's not normal? Mm -hmm. All of that is in that video, which is on our website. Um, I'll put the link to that here. Uh, but bottom line, like, come join our village. I don't know what yeah. you guys are waiting for. Like, this is going to be the coolest thing ever. What we keep saying is it's going to be, like, so much bigger than what we realize it's going to be because it's not, it's not about us. It's, like, our collective vision of everyone. It's, like, it's going to take a village to make a village is what I keep saying because everyone has something they want to contribute. Everyone wants to be part of it in different ways. And for us, we just want to create the space and let you guys go crazy and see what happens from it. Yeah, that's it. I mean, like the key is to have a look at the video and have a look at the, um, the shared spaces because it's, it's your imagination as well. We've been contacting people and seeing what they want to do and that's where we've got so far of yoga, ecstatic dance, DJ workshops. But like, have a look around and see what you want to bring to the space because that's what we want to see. Um, and yeah, we're going to fill it with as much good coffee and food as we can because that's what's important coffee. to us. I need the coffee. Um, <laughs> but all, all the other amazing things we're looking for the community to provide so we can all share in it. So anyways, we love you. We want yes. you to join us. Um, if this doesn't answer all of your questions, I don't know what will. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Please ask, let us know if you have more questions. We would love to answer them. We're actually bringing more people onto our team, so it's becoming bigger, it's growing. Mm -hmm. So you'll probably be in contact with more people besides just us because mm -hmm. there's so many people that want to be involved, so many people that are interested that we're getting overwhelmed by the amazing messages coming in in a good way, in the best way possible. So you'll be talking to other people and um, yeah, just keep spreading the word. We have we have some rooms left. We also have the opportunity to get more rooms, which is like yeah. blowing my mind that we might be more than 60 people here. So it starts November 15th officially. We're going to do it at least for one month, if not two months. Because mm -hmm. um, if we do the second month, we'll be Thanksgiving, Christmas and New Year's, which would be really nice to be together all in one place yeah. and do a big family dinner. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Do you have anything else that you... No, no, I think I covered everything. <laughs> okay well let us know if you want to join our remote collective village because it's pretty much the best thing happening in thailand at this moment when yeah. the world is locked down yeah. do you want to be part of the story if this is what i'm saying because i mean yeah there's just like so much more that we're not even saying right now because we don't want to release it until we have everything confirmed but just know that's gonna be fucking awesome yeah. and it's gonna be something we're always gonna talk about and look back on and be like remember that crazy time we made a village when the whole world was locked down <laughs> that's gonna be us Legendary. I think that's it. You got anything yeah. more? No, no, no. I love you guys. Bye. Bye bye.